Good luck to all. Wins the game at South Moor with the Lancashire Club expecting the biggest crowd of the season. And the home fans will be watching Burnley's 15th cup tie of a bizarre season when their cup forms deserted them in the league. But having already reached the semi-finals of the Milk Cup, the club's cashed in. They feel here the cup outsiders will carry on surprising people today. Thanks. Sheffield Wednesday manager Jack Charlton and his latest signing David Mills have renewed a partnership that flourished at Middlesbrough. In between, Mills had an unproductive spell at West Brom. It was at Borough where he made his reputation. Curling in towards Mills. And a header, and it's in from David Mills. Keeley in a little bit of trouble. Mills taking it off him. Now a great chance. Now Mills is back in the Charlton flock. He's living with the manager till he finds a permanent home. Once Britain's most expensive player. Does he feel he's wasted four vital years? I think certainly in terms of playing football matches, yes, it's been a very, very difficult time and probably most people look at those years as being the peak years of your career. Um, they certainly haven't been my peak years, um, but I have an opportunity now over the next three or four years to probably achieve some of the things that I've failed to achieve in the last three or four. Let's just talk a little bit about uh, Jack Charlton. Do you feel he's changed a lot since uh, you were first underneath him at Middlesbrough? Um, in some ways, yes. Um, I think he's mellowed a little bit to what he was at Middlesbrough. I think um, he was very, very dominant at Middlesbrough. Um, I'm not saying he isn't dominant here, but I think he's a little bit more understanding now from a player's point of view than probably what he was at Middlesbrough. Um, and I've always found Jack very loyal to players, which is probably something that a lot of people you know, aren't aware of, really. Even when you're having a bad time, he's always stayed loyal, both... In, certainly in my time at Middlesbrough, he was very, very loyal to the players there. Um, and I seem to get the impression that he is here as well. Jack Charlton insists that Sheffield Wednesday aren't out of the second division promotion race. He feels he's laid the foundations for future success at Hillsborough. We're one of the few clubs in the country with any money in the bank. And it's because we've worked very hard over the wage structure and to keep the thing in control and not let... Uh, and we've never entered the big money buying business at times when it was tempting to do it for that little bit more success but we've resisted temptation and i think things are right now so a bright future for wednesday but they'll remember the last time the two teams met on new year's day when it was a far from happy start to the year for the owls it's like he uses him as a decoy now hamilton and the goal for taylor mistake by boulder Here's Scott. And Taylor again. Two in two minutes. Okay. Here's Hamilton and the referee waving him on. Round Boulder. Lions back in from Shelton McCulloch Lions has trudged forward again and Hamilton well, a good half a dozen occasions Billy Hamilton has defended well and now Taylor could this be the hat trick well may he dance well, Jimmy, this is a very evenly balanced tie. Uh, it is, Ian, yeah, but uh, I think I'll go for the home side, Burnley. You know, you come over those Pennines, don't you, in the sunshine, and you suddenly go down <laughs> into the mist and the fog of Burnley, and you wonder where you're going. Yeah. And uh, it's very hard to play there, and I think I'd just give them the edge. I don't know how you feel about it. Well, they're very much in form in cup ties this year, in fact, have knocked out three teams in the League Cup, didn't they? You know, they looked at Liverpool, Spurs, Birmingham. So yeah. they're very much a form team, and I, and I saw the games against Liverpool, and I was very impressed with them. But it's a hard tie for me to predict, because I worked at the Wednesday with Big Jack and all the lads there, and I'd love them to get there. But I have a sneaking feeling they'll do very well to get a draw. Well, Big Jack, I mean, there's no, never been a side in the land that can beat Big Jack. I mean, that's his attitude, and it's a very positive one. And he instills that into his players, and he's got Big Morris there, uh, Morris Setters, who's ah. behind all the lads, who'll be kicking everybody. Uh, and uh, But I still think on the day that Burnley uh, will just about get through.